So just a little backstory, we're here in Japan today and we are visiting a shop called TRA Kyoto. So TRA Kyoto is better known as Rocket Bunny or Pandem uh, in the United States. Uh, they are very popular all over the world. They are trendsetters when it comes to body kits. Uh, Midasan is known for designing kits for a lot of name brands that you may know. Uh, he's probably behind their body kit. So this was one of our, our dream spots to visit and we're gonna take you along for the ride today. Now it's been years since I feel like anyone's filmed here, so we thought we'd uh, check it out and show you guys. They have renovated uh, some time ago uh, compared to the photos that came out in Speed Hunters, I think around 2013. TRA Kyoto has always been great about collecting old automotive history and memorabilia, keeping it on the shelves. It's like a, a mini museum in here. So those wheels down there on the left were actually designed by Medison himself years ago. Uh, everything else here is just really cool to see in person as opposed to in the magazines. Oh, all those Shin Shimafin, yeah. and uh, Mirafa, uh, design and programming, and uh, this machine, Digi. Cuts the foam yeah. for the molds? Uh, to make a mold. Yeah, this is the famous machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's very famous in the CNC world. And we bring it to the second floor uh, and make a mold. For fiberglass, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. This is with all the Bozuzuku. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bozuzuku yeah. Uh, for Keika. For Keika, yeah. And this is, uh, Splitters? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. This is uh, six, six millimeter. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's thick. <laughs> wow. That's impressive. That's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so if you've ever wondered about how strong the Rocket Bunny splitters are, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. is that the Pandem or the Rocket Bunny? Those? Uh, this one uh, for N90 Super. You, you oh, the new one. We have one. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, after showing us the CNC machine room where they make all the molds for their kits, uh, Uki took us out to show us some of Mira's older cars. Uh, to include his Datsun 510. Now, if you don't know about the Datsun 510, this car is well known throughout the car enthusiast world. Uh, these are his original cars. Hey. Yeah, this is the original one he took in the 70s or the 80s. Uh, 70s. 70s, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is the Battery set up, super thin roof. So cool. And it's left hand drive. Yeah, uh, uh, bought uh, every car from USA. Yeah, because he yeah. likes US culture, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It smells so good in here, you guys don't even know. It smells like oil that's been sitting in an oil pan for 20 years. It's just history right here. It's a US spec car too. And uh, he said it was, it's cheaper to import a US spec car. And along with his love of US culture, 
you know, he just, he wanted a US car here to build off of and that's what he got. And it's so simple. It's so simple. You know, they say every, every race car is a show car, but not every show car is a race car. And that's very much what this, what this is. You're putting her to work. <laughs> this is it, you guys. That's for the C8? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's a Pandem C8 wing straight from the source. I remember when I installed the Rocket Bunny kits on the FRSs, they, the quality was so high, um, I didn't have to do any trimming on it. Everything was just so tight. Is that the full wide body? Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, you guys just have them. You guys just have them in stock. <laughs> this is it, this is the warehouse. Yeah. So, we are, uh, Steve. Is, yeah. that, is that the new Z? Yeah. Ah, no, no, old one. Oh, the old Z one? I love the, the, the holes, the <laughs> LED holes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is new, uh, GR86. Yeah. And this one for C5. Yeah. God, look at the mouth on that. It's, yeah, it's nuts. That's the old 8.6. Yeah, That's the V1. One. There's a V2. So I put the V1 yeah. on mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. In 2014. How many cuts do you have? Yeah. So I think uh, Greddy is the US distributor. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, I've never been a fan of the like cross trek style mm -hmm. square, mm -hmm. but it, I mean, it looks good there. Yeah, look at that. You, you have to do bags. You have to do airbags. We are a very small company. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah, only five people. Five, wow. Wow. That's crazy because Rocket Bunny and Pandem are huge in the in the in the car world. Like, it's very sought after. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is that a two J? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This looks like my garage. Yeah. <laughs> we try to uh, build this car. Formula D, Formula D2. Are you guys, oh, you are building it for Formula D2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's gonna be cool. Man. Now, this was filmed in March and this car was actually at SEMA this year. And so it's just amazing to see a car like this in such a raw form, built from the ground up. It's just an art piece when you see the final result. And I'm about to throw it up here for you. It's hard to believe that this is the same car. Uh, in less than a year, they put that together and that's how it came out. So everyone knows Rocket Bunny for body kits, but no one knows them for skateboards. So this kind of blew my mind that they were now making <laughs> boards. It's an electric one. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh, uh, body kit. Yeah, it's got a little spoiler. Yeah. This is very fast. Uh, 30 kilometers. Oh, wow. <laughs> Too scary. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and that's where the inspiration comes from. Meresan. 
through a body kit. What for? What car? R32. Is, oh, the R32 yeah. body kit. He just drew it on some paper. It looks like it. That's that's neat. That's cool. <laughs> Oh, he drew the rivets on and everything. <laughs> I love it. So I figured since we are at Rocket Bunny, we would go ahead and build a couple of these decks to take home with us. I actually have a couple of these yeah. hanging on the wall in my shop and they can be seen in some of my other YouTube videos. Uki was kind enough to show me how they throw them together. And I'll, I'll tell you, it's been years since I've had to put grip tape on a skateboard. But then Medicine showed up. Oh my God. What? That's old, that's from Super Street. When they wow. featured, do you know, do you know about this? Sati Asgo. Huh? Sati Asgo. Translate that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that thing. Oh, uh, what happened to the K van? Forty years ago, uh, my oh, company, a small company, mm -hmm. very small company, small yeah. company. Uh, that time, Japan at that time was a small company. Japan at that time was a small company. Mm -hmm. uh, At that time, it was popular to remodel progress. The US, they're 25 years old, so we can import them now, and people have started modifying them. So they, there's a there's a scene coming back. Yeah, yeah. yeah you made their wide body for yeah. their Suzuki. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, the one they put the rotary in. Like twenty thirteen or twenty fourteen mm -hmm. I did that. And then I did a red one too. And you had did the red yeah, one yeah, yeah. at SEMA. Yeah. So, yeah, right. Sima first project. Do you know? I'm satisfied. First project. Yeah, yeah. Project. I remember it. I make. Yeah, I remember. And the uh, next project, Dibari Walk. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you designed that. Yeah. And then you designed for HKS too. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, then, uh, then, so far, uh, Liberty Walk, mm -hmm. uh, Lamborghini. Oh, oh wow. And oh, no, they, they had a. No, it was a Huracan. Or was that a Ventador at the time? No, no, no. No, uh, Aventador, no. My. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. I, okay. Uh, uh, second time. They, Ferrari four eight four five eight four five eight. So all, all the original Liberty Walk kits were you then? Yeah. yeah okay. That's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, that was the fifth or sixth project? First time the Ben Sopra. Yeah, 35. Yeah. And the Suza. The body walk. Borsiara. 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 Ferrari. Four. Four, five, eight. Yeah. Okay. Eight, six. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still have your original eight six? Do you? you had a white eight six, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
I, I think mm. Toyota. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. So a lot of your body kits are very stance focused or like they're all very wide and beautiful and the the lines are, are beautiful, right? So very reminiscent of even like the old Porsches and the formula cars. Um, have you ever thought of maybe track focused aero, like just splitters, like flat style splitters? I like uh, old school car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, 70s, 80s, mm -hmm. 90s. The beautiful lines, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. New car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah. Two aerodynamics. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Very easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can use a computer. CNT mm -hmm. uh, modeling. Mm -hmm. The CAD yeah. modeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, 30 old. 30. Mm. Yeah. Modeling. Yeah. You've been modeling mm -hmm. for 30 yeah. years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, my make body kit mm -hmm. many use drift yeah. no mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah it's very expensive yeah. now yeah very expensive mm -hmm. now very expensive yeah 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 very high speed and uh, danger yeah mm -hmm. extremely mm. so uh, down force Mm -hmm. The big spoiler, mm -hmm. the big wing, the big beauty. Yeah. Yeah. So what Medesan's getting at here is that because the speeds for drifting have increased so much, the kits are track focused because of the amount of downforce they create. You Yuki showed us everything today, and it was super cool. And I I think it's really cool that you're so small. Yeah. And I, I love that. I absolutely love that. So. Um, you know, thank you for still being a part of the, the car world and the car scene because um, I don't, I, you probably do understand, but um, to still have someone that's been in the car scene for so long to still make parts, to still scan things, to still draw things in CAD, that's big. And I mean, you've been doing it, what? 30 years, right? I'm like, that's huge. So thank you for that. Thank yeah, you for yeah. still being part of the car the culture. And, uh, I like cheap cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. cheap cars. Uh, many people uh, no money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody like Dorothy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you you made Rocket Bunny kits for the 180 and 240 SX guys, and they they made those cars so expensive because you know now they're so expensive you can't even like get into drifting with those. You have to get like a 350Z or a 370Z to like just get entry level now. And uh, I don't know, I blame Rocket Bunny for that. <laughs> Cause everybody made them look so great. No. All the car expensive. Mm -hmm. All the car. Yeah. Like, 
even some even some of the 60s and 70s cars are cheaper than the 90s cars and that, that's crazy yeah 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 crazy yeah that's your Lennox, yeah. yeah like your your Datsun uh, the f what is it a 510 510 yeah that uh, thing's worth a fortune now yeah yeah big mm -hmm. yeah oh hey, hey welcome back <laughs> Well, we got you something. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. Very cool. <laughs> we got we got him a, a Corvette, a Kiss oh. Corvette. Mm, nice, so nice. I'll kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. Man. In the year. Uh, project for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But we have uh, lots of project uh, for every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so he's very busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very busy. Yeah. Don't wear yourself out. <laughs> we we love seeing your projects. So not so Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to tell someone who's mm. always has projects uh, not to wear themselves out because I do the same thing. I have 15 cars that I'm doing yeah, yeah, at a yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, is it legal in USA? Is that a ruckus? What is that? Uh, what year is it? Uh, maybe 1968. 68? Yeah, oh, that would be legal. Yeah. There's a there's a little bit more paperwork for motorcycles and scooters, but it, it can be done. Yeah. Mm. He said uh, this is. Uh, <laughs> Very popular, become very popular oh. in the USA. Yeah, mm. yeah. Even in Hawaii, there's a whole scene for mm. ruckuses and stretch to the slam scooters. Mm. Didn't you design one of these wheels? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Old school wheel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the beautiful. That's coming back right now too. Toyota. Mm. Yeah, Toyota. Yeah. 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 There's all her, right? Yeah, yeah. Walk. Hayashi Reshi. 35. 35 years ago. 35 years ago. Me. Dorothy. Yeah. You. Yeah, that's what I was saying. But those look like the equips, the original equips. Yeah. Walk. Yeah. Walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Dizzy ride? Yeah. The rides, uh, right? First what? time uh, he uh, made a uh, Disneyland in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, Cinderella. Cinderella Castle. Oh, the castle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that your first project? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of Disney myself, but <laughs> you know, the fact that that's what led to art, you know, because that's what this is, you know, a lot of people just think they're cars, but they're art, and it's, you know, car culture in general is like an expression, you know, but that's wonderful, you know, and I'm, I'm glad you had that opportunity, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it, 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 it came to this. Many beautiful spots in Kyoto. In Kyoto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a car culture thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. so yeah. famous. Yeah. 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 Uh, so we ended up spending the whole day with Meresan and Uki at TRA Kyoto. Uh, we drew out some projects that I'm working on. Uh, Meresan even whipped out his computer and we started drawing some stuff up for the C8 Corvette. And it, it's really cool just to see a, a master at work. You know, someone that started out designing Cinderella's Castle at Disney Japan is now drawing some of these beautiful body kits. and putting them out to production for those of us that really enjoy modifying our cars. Now, out of respect for Uki and Medisan, we couldn't show you everything, but if you go to my YouTube channel and you check out our other JDM Overload videos, there might be some stuff you're interested in. 
please consider subscribing, liking this video, and thanks for watching today. Hopefully you learned something about Rocket Bunny and Pandem.